The drug heroin is making headlines again. It was the apparent cause of actor Philip Seymour Hoffman's death, with investigators saying they found a hypodermic needle in envelopes containing what they believed to be heroin. And the case of Glee actor Corey Monteith, the coroner's report was unambiguous. He died of a mixed drug toxicity involving heroin and alcohol. Recently, officials reported 22 people dead in Pennsylvania and another 37 people dead in Maryland, all from heroin cut with fentanyl, a synthetic opiate used in surgery. Is heroin use on the rise? Yes, and the DEA says Mexico is meeting the rise in demand from the U.S. Its production skyrocketing, mostly in the form of black tar heroin, which is easier to produce, less pure, but according to the DEA, still highly potent. How common is heroin use these days? Its use has been trending upward. The blue line on this chart represents people who said they had used heroin in the past year. The red line, people who used it in the past month. Focusing in on those who used it less frequently, their numbers jumped from 404,000 in 2002 to 620,000 in 2011, an increase of 53%. What about deaths from heroin use? It's hard to measure, as was the case with Corey Monteith. It's often reported on death certificates along with other factors. But in 1999, over 2,100 people who died were reported as having heroin in their systems. By 2010, over 3,000. What's causing the rise in both heroin use and deaths? The National Institute on Drug Abuse cites this trend. Nearly half of young people who inject heroin reported starting out abusing pain medications. And pain pill abuse is soaring in America. In 2010, around 7 million people were current users of pain drugs taken non-medically. That's 2.7% of the population. Why do some switch to heroin? At current street prices, according to the DEA, a bag of heroin that can last for days costs less than a single illegally obtained OxyContin pill. That's the short answer.